we need to know the distance from like here to here. Working on canoes is something that here's tape measures in my area hasn't been done since like the late 1800s, the last photograph of one. And so it's a technology and it's a tradition that's really important to our people. The boat is safe okay. and the middle. That's great. We're gonna um, pry this apart. Now we bring those two sides together. We're doing canoe building. I brought up a birch bark canoe that we've already made this summer. And then we're working on just doing the frame for a flat bottomed canoe. Just smoothing it out right now. These materials are really precious. And be respectful of the material, don't be wasteful, but you learn by doing. And I think a lot of the times, these types of traditional practices, there are so many steps, it can feel intimidating, so people are afraid to mess up. Birch bark canoes occasionally have been made. The last Denina one that I know was made was in Nondalton in the 80s. Since the last 40-ish years, I, I found documentation of three being made. It's really energizing here being at Elders and Youth and seeing the interest, the questions. Yeah, this yeah. is some of the things that elders have seen maybe in the past, different water vessels that people have made around the state and talking through having kind of a reverse engineering process. I did not bring a blueprint. I don't have any literature on this. We're just doing it hands-on and we're observing and then making. So it's, it's a pretty intergenerational way and traditional way of just what are the materials, what do they want to be, how we're going to make this dimensions based on our bodies, who's here, and the space and time that we have together. I think for people who want to do this, the short answer is just do it. And don't be worried about making it perfect. It's been a really humbling and honoring experience going through doing the canoe building, and it means a lot to me that we're able to show other youth how to do this and the elders, so hopefully they go back to their communities and they're like, hey, let's try and make whatever vessel we have in our hometown. I will make a bigger one. I'll help me get all the animals. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that I can carry ca caribou on the canoe. Being part of that is just, it's really kind of timeless. It connects the past, present, and future together. And so it, it just means a lot to be able to do this.